Hey guys, welcome back. So this week's video is my how to highlight and contour. I did get so many questions on how I do it, so I thought I'd share with you guys how I do it. How? Just a quick disclaimer, I don't do this every day, like I do my makeup. I do this when I go to special occasions or like when I need like a full face, this is what I do. But on a regular, I barely contour my face. So if you guys would like to see how I did this, keep on watching. I actually have like my face done practically everything i just don't have the contouring done so for today now before i start what i'm going to use personally there's usually two types there's powder and there's like cream foam i prefer the cream because it's like more natural like more how to explain it you can actually control the amount that you put on your skin you can actually control it do you know what i mean then powder once the powder is on like i feel like blending out powder is like way harder than blending out cream cream just melts into your skin that makes sense so the powder that i use is it the only powder that we use for contouring it actually is it was my first when i first got into contouring this is the first powder i purchased and i've been using it ever since it's the sleek face contour kit you can find these everywhere this is the shade dark i picked the dark because the medium is like a bronzing shade rather than contour i like my contours to be like cool shade like gray toned that can actually match like the actual shadows of your skin if that makes sense so i picked the dark because of the contour it's like a really nice dark brown if you can see that it's like a cool tone brown which i love so this is what i used to now for cream it's very versatile you can use your foundation you can get like a darker foundation you can get a darker concealer like the illegal concealer i know people that contour with that i have the what the abh contour cream contour palette so it just comes with like concealers um what do you call this shade a corrector right like a peachy correct it's like so dry i haven't used i never use like a corrector then it comes with like two contour shades this one is in the shade the good thing about this like magnetic so you can replace them this is in the shade cinnamon it's like a bronzing shade in my opinion doesn't contour much but i like it how subtle it is and this like the cool toned darker shade which is this shade chocolate as you can see it has like quite a dent in it because like i said i love my my cool toned contours so yeah those are the only things i use i then go over it with a powder if i need to but i don't go over it with like a contour powder i go over it with a bronzing powder i'll just show you what i do so for today i'm going to use the fenty beauty matchsticks the matchstick trio so we're just going to use this to highlight and contour now the contour I use is in the shade Truffle. It's like a really lovely cool toned brown. If you can see that, there it is. Now for concealers, like for highlighting like the high points of my face, I've, I use a bunch. I've tried a bunch of concealers, so let me just show you. Usually using a concealer lighter than your shade, you can as well go in with a foundation that's a shade lighter. Sometimes I do that, like I'd use my darker foundations around my face, then use my lighter foundations as highlight because i like that seamless blended look so you can you guys can try that but the concealers that i absolutely love is the illegal you guys know these concealers i have two shades here i use medium beige which is quite bright then this i would say this is like two shades lighter than me then i i have the shade warm honey which is like a shade lighter so if i'm looking going for like a subtle highlight i'd go in with this or if i'm going with like a super bright night glam full glam i'd go in with this or sometimes i just mix both i'm not using these i'm using the using the mac pot concealer in switch 2 i love this i love how thick and creamy this is sits very well on the skin this is a favorite now i also use another favorite concealer i use to highlight my face is my nars um the nars radiant creamy concealer that also is like a really good concealer i don't have it now I don't even know where it is to be honest but that's like my absolutely favorite concealer it doesn't crease very radiant very moisturizing thing else which i recently started using is the elf complete coverage concealer this was actually a gift from my friend saying so it's a bit too bright so i would mix it with like a darker concealer like the nc45 one by mac then dab this like on top as you can tell it's like very light but these two shades are like my favorite so i'd go in with these two and comes like a really nice tiny brush or I'd also go in with the ABH concealer, the, the concealer it comes with. It comes like one, a banana shade, which is like, the, you guys know setting powder, so it's like a brightening concealer. This is the shade Banana. 
then this one's like more peachy toned i don't really like it it's in the shade cream it's not like i don't like it but it's like too peachy in my opinion that's what it looks like i know the lighting it like looks so white but it's not that bright final one is nude i really like this one for extra brightness i really like it so i'd use this sometimes so those are all the concealers oh another one that i recently got which i absolutely love it's the ColourPop no filter concealer in the shade tan 50. now i would compare this to probably the touch shape, shape tape as i've heard other people say but i will say it does really come close to the nars one although this is crazy matte like it's so matte and it dries so quick so you guys need to work like really quick yeah, that's all I have for concealers. That's all I use, basically. Now, my least favorite concealer is the Fenty Caramel one. If you didn't know, the formula to these matchsticks are like cream to powder. It's not like I hate the shade. The shade is like a shade lighter. It's like almost close to my warm honey one. But it's just the consistency. So I don't like, like applying cream to powder formula. Like under my eye, it tends to dry that out. It looks patchy. I just, I don't like the formula of this as a concealer but as contour as highlight it works perfectly but as concealer i don't like it but the color is really it's like great it's not that it's it's okay but i don't like the way it works under my eye now so if you choose to like set your face i sometimes set my face which i do to increase extra brightness basically in the highlighted areas i do that sometimes or i recently started with like a translucent powder let me show you guys the video the first powder i actually purchased is this technique soft focus powder from super cosmetics now I really love how smooth and like it just blurs everything and how it leaves it but the only problem with this is like it has flashback which no one likes so this is like the only bad thing about this powder and it's quite affordable. Now the next one I have is like my Sacha powder which I absolutely love. The yellow, it has like a yellow pigment which increases like the brightness so I really love this. If I'm not going to like for the whole baking I'm use like a regular face powder i'll use either my maybelline one or just like very regular sephora face powder it's just like a shade lighter that i just tap on top for like extra coverage and extra brightness if i really need it then again i don't do this all the time guys so be wary about that now for highlighting like the shiny stuff everyone has on their face you can either use like a cream highlight liquid highlight or powder highlight which i know most of us use now i only have one liquid highlight and it's the next born to glow liquid illuminator in the shade cream it's like a really lovely rose gold highlight you can even use this to like if you can see the C, it's so bright you can even use this to like strobe if you want so there's that or you can use this like underneath your foundation to give you like an extra brightness so i use this now for cream i have the fenty match stick in the shade rum it's such a lovely color it's like a really lovely champagne shade let me swatch it here do you guys see that yep that's the one it's a, like i really love i love this and it gives you like the very subtle very like the finish on this is up so i love this smart stick now when it comes to powder highlights you guys can do literally anything it's about being creative you can use like a shimmer shadow you have in your palettes like your eyeshadow palettes like any goldy color any champagne color if like a deeper toned any like bronzy color that works really well now I know the Sleek Contour Kit comes with like a highlighting side. Now this one's a bit too dark for me but my sister does use it. We broke it so. Like you can use an eyeshadow like I said. I have this Maybelline one single shadow in the shade Nude Glow. It's like a really lovely pink. I feel like pink highlights are so good. See? It's like so lovely. Who'd know you have like eyeshadow on your cheeks? So makeup is about being creative and using what works for you. Now I also have the MAC, have like the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. It's like my OG fave highlight. If you're like anywhere near my skin tone, I'd suggest this. It's so pretty. I love this so much. So I have this. The next highlighter I have, oh, I have a Kylie one, which is also a gift. This is in the shade, I don't remember the shade of this. It doesn't have like the name. Very lovely shade. This is a bit too dark for me, but I do use it as a topper sometimes see it's like a bit so first we're going to start with contouring i'm going to use my trusty the fenty match stick in truffle okay let me zoom you guys in okay so what you're going to need to do is i don't usually do the whole 
to contour i just line like the top part of my ear like where it comes down that's where i draw my contour and then the t the trick to contour your face perfectly to actually give you a good contour is blending upwards instead of just blending downwards you know what i mean you need to curve your cheekbones basically so when i'm dragging i'm going to drag it like this if that makes sense Now I use like a round top angle kabuki brush. I don't even know if that's the name. But this is what it looks like. Now the pressure should be like the lowest up here then increase the pressure you use. Am I making sense? I hope I am. And just like increase the pressure when you come down. So do you see how automatically my face just slimmed down? Not that I need it. I already have like a really long face, but you know, it's just for, just for fun. But also like if you have like a very wide jaw, if that makes sense, like as you can tell, my face like tapered down like this. The people who don't have a tapered face, you can actually contour your chin to actually create that tapered look. So tips from me. Okay, so when it comes to my forehead, I don't like bringing my forehead down i just like to narrow my face most of them if that makes sense so i just like contour around here I like to like connect it with the contour so it looks natural so I just add more here so it just like flows so you guys know like the number three look so we have the first layer down now before like powdering it down we're just gonna conceal our face for the video purpose I'm just gonna use the caram this and then add another concealer on top because like I said this is quite drying so now for the under the eye you're gonna need to do like a triangle Um, and then, oh my beauty blender, let me get my beauty blender. Okay, then I'm gonna go over with the ColourPop. And then we're gonna, I'm just gonna use a beauty blender for this. Okay, now that we have like the under eye down, we're just gonna do like the rest of my face. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit on my chin. And my forehead just to like increase because that's like where the light naturally hits your face so you just need to highlight those parts of your face now the great thing about it is like it's like yellow I don't know if you guys can tell but that's like good because you want it to be bright if it was white you'd have like a white cast and look like Casper the friendly ghost And then I always usually set around my mouth because that's the part where I tend to get dark throughout the day. So while that's like cooking basically, <laughs> or like baking. Now like I said, I don't usually go over with like a grey tone powder because I feel like that's too much. I just go over with like a bronzing powder. Now I sometimes use the NC NW45 Studio Fix Mark. Or this Technique Blush Palette that has like this shade here. I then spray my face with Fix Plus so that everything can just sink into my skin and look not powdery. Now for highlight, I'm going to go in with the Rum by Fenty because like I said, it's like a very lovely color. Now, another tip, if you're using this 
match stick and you plan to use it like an everyday glow the best way to apply this is like through beauty blender so just like put the beauty blender blah, 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 blah. so just like rub your beauty blender on it a bit like put on the product on here and just dab this on instead of like going indirectly because that's gonna be too for like an everyday natural glow so that's another tip Is like my favorite part, like it's just so fun. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna contour my nose. I don't usually contour my nose because I don't know, it's a lot of work, and I don't think it looks good on me. But since this is a video dedicated to that, the thinner the line the narrower your nose will appear another tip i'm just gonna drag it up into my brow the tip is like you need to drag it in here so it like looks more natural you get me like you actually have that nose <laughs> yeah that's it that's all i do for highlighting my face this is like when i'm usually doing full glam put some lipstick on i don't even know what i want to wear but i'll be right back so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're new to my channel hi my name is yasmin i do makeup videos and fashion videos so if you guys would like to see more of these subscribe i'll see you guys next time bye